would be dishonor. And that is not a Christian or a Jewish uh, moral position, and that is why it is rarer in, among our people and in our culture. But uh, I would imagine that you, uh, without the attitudinizing of the of the Japanese, you'd still be emotionally a bit on their side. Exactly. You would prefer uh, not to live if, uh, if life is less than what you want it to be. Seems to me so absolutely obvious, and I think almost everyone will come to it uh, as they get older, because it, it gets less and less fearful. The older you get, you get down, you're in a tumbrel going down to that guillotine, and it's, you kind of like to get it over with. I think many older folks do. There's also the thing that you have. The, who was it? The, uh, was it a revolutionary or colonial officer who said, who was a so lucky and who had the famous line, stay thy hand, Lord, thy servant hath enough. He was quoting the Bible, of course. Yeah. But, but uh, in other words, don't give me any more good luck. And I have a feeling when you talk sometimes that that's your feeling, that you have, you have had so much that you can almost can't bear the thought of more. Well, it, it's, it's, let's face it, it's, it's a type of fear, sure. Uh, uh, how do you mean? Well, the, the luck can't last. This whole book that I wrote, this family history, is, is all a matter of, I start out, you, know, you remember, with, uh, I call it time and chance, and it starts out with uh, the Ecclesiastes, and how does it go? I looked again and saw unto the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor yet riches to men of understanding, but time and chance happeneth to all. And it happeneth very happily to me, and, and it's, a, it's a weakness probably not to want to uh, uh, get the dirty end of the stick at the end of it. I'm perfectly willing to accept that for people who think I'm overdoing it. What do you think death is? A, a sleep, a very wishful and blessed sleep and nothing more. We're not going to have any reincarnation. We had our chance, good Lord, uh, one season on earth. Isn't that wonderful to have it? Isn't it silly and selfish and childish to think that we're going to come back even in any reincarnation? Uh, it seems so to me, but nuts. Uh, if anyone says he knows, isn't he kidding himself? Certainly I I don't claim to know the answers, but uh, In other words, you what, what be, is right for me, I think I know. You would feel sorry uh, to be surprised. <laughs> I don't know. I think so, yes. It seemed to me... I thought, God, is there, is there anything as childish as the, uh, uh, the heaven that has been uh, written out in Revelation and... Uh, you know, the city four square with the uh, pearly gates and everything, uh, and golden uh, streets. It's just, gold would be a very poor street, not nearly as good as concrete. It's just because uh, it's childish. People want it well, leave good. Well, out, leave out, the, uh, leave out the what you call the childish heaven, and just imagine any form of immortality. You would be sorry to find that that existed. It seems so to me, just because I can't imagine anything but uh, maybe sorrow and looking back on uh, uh, the hopes you had for your children, and of course all of them aren't going to uh, uh, materialize. There's going to be a lot of mistakes, and uh, I, I, I'd like to end with hope. And I certainly don't want to end with despair, which, mean, which I think is going to come. Of course, the <laughs> maybe what got me started, I think you had something to do with it, because we used to read the... Uh, some of the, the deaths of, uh, I think they're the most poignant things in literature. The, the death, for instance, of, of David, the, uh, who had been such a sexual giant, and uh, as one of the, uh, you remember, the, uh, they put the beautiful Shulamite maiden in his bed. And it goes on and on. But the saddest words of tongue or pen are not it might have been, but uh, what they have in the Bible. But he got no heat. And but he got he no. got no heat. And, and then uh, you've done uh, so much uh, false staff. And uh, th that 
can almost bring tears to my eyes. The uh, in Henry V when the what's her name who runs the Dal uh, Yeah, the Dal Tersheet is telling about. Always as cold as any yeah. stone. She reaches up first his feet are cold, then his knee, and then up, up and up, cold as any stone. It's uh, it's so poignant, and uh, it's uh, scared me all my life. Cut. <laughs>